Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests and viewers across Europe. Welcome to Freising. Welcome to the draws for the Euro Cup women and EuroLeague women season 2021-2022. We're happy to have some of you here and all, of, all others watching from across Europe. Before we start with the draws for the upcoming seasons, I would like to invite to the stage for a few welcome words the FIBA Executive Director Europe, Mr. Kamil Novak. So good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Also from my side, I'm extremely happy and pleased to see so many uh, clubs being represented here. To be very honest, uh, I wish and we all wish that we have all the clubs uh, here, which unfortunately is not the reality of, of today's world. Uh, as you know, uh, several countries, among others also, also Germany, changed a little bit the restrictions uh, uh, and uh, therefore it was not possible for many of the clubs to, uh, to arrive here. So, but this is something we have to, we have to live with. Uh, I think we have all learned over the uh, last 18 months to, to, to deal with the, with the situations, with the restrictions. And uh, um, it was also a very, very good sign that all our competitions, the season 2020, 2021, were played until the end, including Final Fours. Of course, obviously, we are all looking forward to, to have um, a great season 2021-22, possibly without any restrictions. Um, we are also permanently in contact with uh, other international federations, European international federations. The last uh, meeting we had just a just few days ago, where we exchanged our views, our plans, obviously, uh, the protocols which will be which will apply for the competition season, not only national teams, also club competitions. So the internet, European international uh, federations community is is cooperating. Uh, among others, we also discussed what is what are the steps to make the competitions as smooth as as possible uh, throughout the year, uh, throughout the season. And one of the points which were raised uh, by, and actually confirmed by all international federations is that to strongly recommend to all clubs to get all their members, coaching staff, players, and also the, the other staff uh, fully vaccinated. Uh, it is reducing the, minimum, the risk to the absolute minimum. It is obviously there is no 100% guarantee. So also here, I would like to address our strong recommendations to, to all of you to get your teams uh, fully vaccinated. It makes, the, it makes the travel easier, it makes the life easier, it also uh, saving some costs because the PCR testing is and is going to be uh, very expensive. And also we want to all avoid situations where clubs cannot travel because of, of, uh, of uh, spread out of the infection and then being potentially also sanctioned in the, in the competition itself. So I want to uh, only forward it to you. I want to strongly recommend it to you. Uh, and uh, we all hope that after the draws today, we, you will prepare your teams. I want to wish all of you good of, uh, good, the best of luck. I want to wish you uh, lucky hands by signing your, your players, making up your teams. And now uh, enjoy, enjoy the draw. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Novak. We are ready to start with the draws, and we will start with the draw for the Euro Cup women's season 2021-2022. A few words about the competition. Um, we are very happy that um, after a difficult season 2020-2021, um, we are taking a step back to normality, which is shown by a high interest of clubs participating in the competition. 57 clubs have registered for the Euro Cup women's season 2021-22, which is a record number. Additionally, four clubs will join from the EuroLeague women qualifiers, making it a total of 61 clubs in ECW. Based on the regulations, the competition will be played with 48 clubs in the regular season, 12 groups of four. That means we'll play 13 qualifiers pairings to reduce the number to 48. As always, the competition is spread in two conferences by geographical proximity. We will now start with the draw for the uh, qualifiers of Conference 1. 
And um, before we do, I uh, first of all would like to ask on stage to assist us, uh, to assist me with the draw, my dear colleague, the head of women in basketball, Mrs. Elizabeth Sebrian. And to perform the draw this morning, we have a special guest, um, former Slovenia international and uh, Women's Eurobasket 2023 ambassador, Mrs. Maja Erkic. Before we start with the draw, welcome Maya. Before we start with the draw, let's have a look at a few highlights of last season's Euro Cup Women Final Four. dramatic ending to last season. I hope we will be able to have many more highlights in the upcoming season. So we're ready to start with the draw for the qualifiers of Conference 1. We have six seeded clubs, as you see, um, and six non-seeded clubs shown as uh, seed 1, the seeded clubs and seed 2 and non-seeded clubs. We will draw them without restriction, always drawing a club from the seeded clubs first. Let's start. Atay from Turkey. And they will go, yes? Elitsur Holon from Israel. KS Basket 25 from Bitgosz in Poland. Elefteria Moskatu from Greece. Spartak Moscow region Vidnoye. Lublin from Poland. Elazig from Turkey. Against Pauk from Greece. And this is Piazza 
from Pitch in Hungary. Niki Lefkadas from Greece. That leaves us with A3 basket, Umea, Sweden. Against the Ludovica Chata Budapest, Hungary. These are the six pairings for the Euro Cup Women Qualifiers Conference 1. Let's um, stay with us for a few moments until we prepare uh, these um, results of the qualifiers draw also for the regular season. I will recap quickly. Hatay versus Holon, Bitgosh against Moskatu, Spartak Moscow region with Noe against Lublin, Elazik versus Pauk, Pech versus Niki Lefkadas, and Umea versus the team from Budapest. Yes, and we are ready to continue with the draw for Conference 1, the regular season. Uh, we will have six groups in Conference 1 of four teams in the regular season. You have the seeds um, shown. In seed 1, we have the second and the third place team from the EuroLeague Women Qualifiers. And in seed 4, you have the um, qualifiers that we have just drawn. Um, Two restrictions for the draw of Conference 1. The first restriction is that maximum two clubs from the same country can be in the same group. And the other restriction, based on the decision of the Board of FIBA Europe clubs from Russia and Ukraine, will be drawn into separate groups in the regular season. We are ready to start with the first team from Seed 1. Polkowice from Poland into Group A. The second place of the EuroLeague Women qualifier where the teams of Sepsi, Sexart and Kayseri are participating. This team will go into Group B. CBK Mershin from Turkey into Group C. The third place team from the EuroLeague Women qualifier goes into Group D. Nadezhda, Orenburg from Russia into Group E. Orman Genschlik from Turkey into Group F. This concludes the draw for Seed 1. We will now continue immediately with the teams from C2. Enisei Krasnoyarsk from Russia into Group A.
Unigur from Hungary into Group B. Gorzov from Poland into Group C. Neve David Ramla from Israel into Group D. Olympiakos from Greece into Group E. And I'll invent Mishkolz from Hungary into Group F. A short recap of the groups so far in Group A, Polkovice and Enisei Krasnoyarsk. In Group B, the second place team from the EuroLeague Women Qualifier and Gör. In Group C, Mersin and Gorzhov. In Group D, the third place team from the EuroLeague Women Qualifier and Ramla. In Group E, Nadezhda Orenburg and Olympiakos. And in Group F, Orman Genschlik and Mishkolz. We are ready to continue with the teams from seed three. Panathinaikos into group A. BC Promete from Ukraine into Group B. BC Horizont Minsk from Belarus into Group C. Nesibe Aydin from Turkey into Group D. Cervena Zvezda from Belgrade in Serbia into Group E. And last but not least, Nika Siktivkar from Russia into Group F. Let's have another look at the group so far. In Group A, Polkovice, NSA, and Panathinaikos. Group B with the second place team from the EuroLeague Women Qualifier, Gyur and Promete. Group C, Mersin, Gorzhov, and Horizont Minsk. Group D with the third place team from the EuroLeague Women Qualifier, Ramla and Nesibe. Group E with Nadezhda Orenburg, Olympiakos, and Cervena Zvezda. Group F, Orman Genschlik, Mishkolz, and Nika Siktivkar. Finally, we will move on to seat four, where we, are, we have the um, six winners of the qualifiers pairings. The, we will have to pay attention to um, Group B with already potentially two Hungarian teams in Group B, but otherwise we should be good to go. This is the winner of pairing one between Hatay and Holon. They go into group A. Winner of pairing four between Elazig and Pauk. They go into group B.
the winner of pairing three between Spartak Moscow region Vidnoye and Lublin into group C. Winner of pairing five between Peats Pech and Niki Levkadas into group D. Winner of pairing two between Bitgosh and Eleftheria Moscatu into group E. And finally, the winner of pairing six between Umea and the team from Budapest into group F. Last but not least, um, we will draw the numbers, the competition numbers to determine the order of play. The teams from seed one will get competition number three. Teams from C2 get competition number four. Teams from C3 get number two. And finally, the teams from seat four get number one. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the draw for EuroCup Women Conference one regular season. Let's have a quick look at the groups again. Group A, the winner of the qualifier between Hatay and Holon, Panathinaikos, Polkovice and Krasnoyarsk. In group B, the winner of the qualifier between Elazik and Pauk, Promete from Ukraine, and the second place team from the EuroLeague Women Qualifier. Finally, Gyur also in that group. Group C, the winner of Spartak Moscow region with Noye and Lublin, Horizont, Mersin and Gorzhov. Group D, the winner of Pech versus Niki Lovkadas, Nesibe Aydin, and the third place club from the EuroLeague Women Qualifier, and Ramla. Group E, the winner of Pitkosh, Elefteria Moskatu, Crvena Zvezda, Nadezhda and Olympiakos. And finally, Group F, the winner of Umeja versus Budapest, Siktivkar, Orman Genschlik and Mishkolc. We will take a few moments to prepare the draws for uh, the qualifiers and the regular season of Conference 2. In the meantime, let's have another look at more top plays from last season's Euro Cup women. take a few more moments to prepare the draws. In the meantime, I can start uh, explaining the procedure for um, qualif the qualifiers for Conference 2. There we have 14 clubs that will be drawn into seven pairings. Seed 1 are the seeded clubs, seed 2 are the non-seeded clubs. 
We will draw them in seven pairings without restrictions. Those pairings are numbered 7 to 13. Okay, I think we are ready to start. We will start with the first seeded club for the qualifiers. Clube União Sportiva from Portugal. Against Haukar from Iceland, first time participant in the Euro Cup women. It's going to be an interesting trip across the Atlantic. Encino Lugo from Spain. Magnolia Basket Campo Basso from Italy. <laughs> the Liege Panthers from Belgium. Against the Ulrican Eagles from Norway, also a first time participant. Flam Carolo Basket from France. Against Pjestanski Chaiki from Slovak, from Slovak Republic. Tarb from France. The House of Talents from Kortrijk in Belgium. BBC Grengewald from Luxembourg. against Dinamo Sassari from Italy. That leaves us with Spar Gran Canaria from Spain. and the London Lions from Great Britain. This concludes the draw for EuroCup Women Conference 2 qualifiers. Quick recap, 
Unial Sportiva from Portugal against Haukar from Iceland, Encino Lugo from Spain against Magnolia Basket Campo Basso from Italy, Liege against the Ulrican Eagles from Norway, Carolo Basket, Pieštani, Tarb versus Kortrik from Belgium, Grengewald from Luxembourg against Dinamo Sassari, and Spa Gran Canaria against the London Lions. We will prepare the draw for Conference 2 regular season in a few moments. Here again we have uh, six seed, uh, four seeds with six teams each feeding into six groups named G, H, I, J, K and L. We have the second and third place teams from the EuroLeague Women Qualifier in seed one and we have the seven winners of the um, EuroCup Women Qualifiers one t uh, in seed three which is the pairing seven and seed uh, pairings eight to thirteen in seed four. Again, the restriction, maximum two clubs from the same country in the same group. We'll start with the first team in seed one. This is uh, EuroLeague Women Conference 2 uh, qualifier second place between Valencia, Burj and Skio into group G. Lointe Guernica from Spain into group H. The third place team from the EuroLeague Women Qualifiers Tournament between Valencia, Burj and Skio into Group I. Lyon Aswell Feminin from France into Group J. Castors Breine from Belgium into Group K. And the Villeneuve Dusk is PVA Lille Metropole from France into Group L. Moving on to the teams in seed two. Elfik Fribourg from Switzerland into group G. One day basket from France into Group H. Basket Namur Capital from Belgium into Group I. MBK Ružom Berok from Slovakia into Group J. The Eurotronic Stars Kelton from Germany into Group K. And 
And finally, KP Brno from the Czech Republic into Group L. A quick recap at the groups so far. Group G with the second place team from the EuroLeague Women Qualifier and Fribourg. Group H with Guernica and um, Roche Vendée. Group I with the third place team from the EuroLeague Women Qualifier and Namur. Group J with Lyon and Rouge Romberoc, Group K with Castus Breine and Kelton, and Group L with Wilnef Dusk and Brno. Moving on to the teams in C3. No country restrictions so far. That is Tenerife from Spain into Group G. Virtus Segafredo Bologna from Italy into Group H. The Kangaroos Mechelen from Belgium into Group I. straight into a Belgian derby. Estudiantes Madrid into Group J. BK Jabini Brno into Group K. And that's the winner of ECW qualifiers pairing seven between Uniao Sportiva and Haukar into Group L. Okay, let's take a quick look at the group so far. Group G with the second place team from the EuroLeague Women Qualifier, Fribourg and Tenerife. Group H, Guernica, Rochmonde and Virtus Polonia. Group I with the third place team from the ELW, Namur and Mechelen. Group J with Aswell Lyon, Rujon Berok and Estudiantes. Group K with Castors Breine, Kelton and Jabini Brno. Group L, Vilnov Dusk, Brno, KP Brno and the winner of the qualifier between Uniao Sportiva and Haukar. Now moving on to the four seeds where we have the remaining winner of the ECW qualifiers for Conference 2. To pay attention, we already have potentially two Spanish teams in Group G. We already have two Belgian teams in Group I. Therefore, if that happens, the software will suggest for, the, for teams from the same country to be moved to the next available group. We'll start with the seed four. This is winner of pairing 12. Pairing 12 is the pairing between Grengewald and Dinamo Sassari. They can go into Group G. Pairing 10. Pairing 10 is the winner of Carolo Basket and Piestani into Group H. Winner of pairing nine between TARP and the House of Talent Spurs. And this pairing cannot go into group I because we already have two Belgian teams in group I, so we'll be moved to the next available group, which is group J. Winner of pairing eight between Encino Lugo and Magnolia Campo Basso. They can go into group I.
winner of pairing 13 between Spar Gran Canaria and the London Lions into Group K. And the winner of pairing 11 That's the Liege Panthers, Ulrich and Eagles into Group L. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the draw for Conference 2. And we have uh, the recap of the groups. Group G with Valencia, Borskiu, second place team with Fribourg, Tenerife and Grengewald. Group H, Guernica, Rochewande, Bologna, and Carolo Basket, Piestani. Group I, Valencia, Burskios, third place team, Namur, Mechelen, and the winner of Lugo, Campobasso. In Group J, Lyon, Rujomberok, Estudiantes, and the winner of Tarp and um, Kortrik. And Group K, Braine, Kelton, Jabini, Brno, Gran Canaria, London. Group L, Vilnev, Das, KP, Brno, Uniao Sportiva, and Liege, Ulrich, and Eagles. Now we will draw the numbers to determine the order of play. First line, number four. Second line, number two. Then number one. And number three. This concludes the draw for the Euro Cup Women Conference 2 and for the Euro Cup Women overall. We will now move to draw the Euroleague Women's Season 2021-2022. Please stay with us for a few moments until we prepare the draw and have a look at a mini movie from last season's Euroleague Women Final Four. Everybody and welcome to the city where East meets West. We are in Istanbul, Turkey, and it's the Euroleague Women Final Four. for the second EuroLeague Women's semifinal, and it's uh, between Chopron in the green and Avenida in the white. This is the EuroLeague Women Final Four. This is the third place game between Chopron and Fenerbahce. up winning at 64 to 58 over Chopin to claim third place. This is Istanbul, Turkey, and this is the early women in the final. Okay, we're ready to start. 
With the draw for EuroLeague Women's Season 21-22, we will um, start with the qualifiers, but before, a total number of 20 clubs have registered for the EuroLeague Women's Season. Um, therefore, we will have uh, two qualification tournaments determining the last two spots, while 14 clubs go directly to the regular season. Those qualification tournaments have been divided in, uh, by geographical principle. Um, we have in one tournament Kaiseri, Sexart and Sepsi, and in the other Burj, Skio and Valencia. Don't be confused by what you see on the screen. What we're doing here today is uh, determining the order of play within those tournaments. So the first three clubs drawn will be from the tournament with Kaiseri, Sexart and Sepsi. And the team that gets drawn first gets number one, the team that gets drawn second, number two, and the team that gets drawn third gets number three. Let's do that. Kaiseri gets number one. Sexart gets number two. And Sepsi, the host of the tournament, gets number three. We will do the same for the other three clubs participating in the second tournament. Valencia with number one. Pereta Familia Skio with number two. The host of the tournament and the Burj Basket with number three. So this is the draw for the qualifiers. They will also feed automatically in the draw for the regular season. But before we start the draw for the regular season, let's have another look at some top plays from last season's Final Four. Or from the entire season, actually. for many more impressive highlights to come in the upcoming season. We are ready to start the draw for the regular season. Uh, we're going back to the competition system playing two groups of eight. Therefore, we have eight seeds with two clubs each that you can see here. In seed one, the reigning champion Ekaterinburg and Fenerbahce. Seed two, Kursk Avenida. 
seed 3 Prague Chopin Basket, seed 4 Girona and PLMA, seed 5 Riga and Galatasaray, seed 6 Venice and Basket Lond, seed 7 Gdynia and Moscow, and seed 8 the winner of the qualifier tournaments. The draw procedure, as always, is a little complicated for EuroLeague women. We can have a maximum of two clubs from the same country in the same group for those countries that have potentially up to three in total. Each group can have a maximum of two countries that are represented by two clubs. In case we have exactly two clubs from the same country, in our case here, this is Hungary and Italy, we will separate those two clubs in the draw. So from the countries with two, it's one and one, and from the countries with three, it's two and one. The draw software will suggest the next available group for uh, specific teams. I will then also try to explain the logic behind it. We'll start with the first team from seed one. UMMC Katarimburg into Group A. And Fenerbahce in Group B. CB Avenida in Group A. Dinamo Kursk in Group B. USK Prague can go in Group A and will go in Group A. Chopron Basket in Group B. PLMA from France can go in Group A and will go in Group A. And Spar Girona into Group B. Let's have a look at how the groups look so far. In Group A, Ekaterinburg, Avenida, Prague, and um, PLMA. And in Group B, Fenerbahce, Kursk, Chopron, and Girona. We'll continue with the teams from Seed 5. TTT Riga can go in Group A and will go in Group A. and Galatasaray into Group B. Venezia in Group A. and Basket Lond in Group B. Another quick look at how the groups look after seed six. Ekaterinburg, Avenida, Prague, PLMA, Riga, and Venezia in Group A. Fena, Bahce, Kursk, Chopron, Girona, Galatasaray, and Basket Lond in Group B. Moving on to teams in seed seven.
MBA Moscow. This can go in group A and will go in group A. And Gdynia from Poland in group B. And now finally, the winner of the qualifiers tournaments are pretty much predetermined. We will draw them anyway. That's the winner of conference two. Between Valencia, Burj, Skio, they have to go into group B in order to keep uh, Chopron and Sexard apart, and also Venice and Skio. And the winner of the tournament one will go into group A for the same reason. This concludes the draws. We will now draw the numbers to determine the order of play. We'll start with number three. Number eight. Number seven. Number two. Number six. Number four. Number one. And finally, number five. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the draw for the EuroLeague Women's Season 21-22. Let's have a quick look at the groups again. In Group A, MBA Moscow, BLMA, Ekaterinburg, Venezia, the winner of the tournament with Sepsi, Sexart, and Kayseri, Riga, Prague, and Avenida. Group B, Gdynia, Girona, Fenerbahce, Lond, the winner of the tournament with Valencia, Burj, and Skio, Galatasaray, Chopron Basket, and Dinamo Kursk. I want to wish all of the participating clubs the best of luck in the upcoming season, most, uh, first and foremost, to stay healthy. And thank you for attending the draw today. Thank you very much, Maya and Elizabeth, for your help. Goodbye.